problems here in Brussels. That's why we've been here for five days and four nights. That's why. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you guys are new, and I'm back and better with a, another video. In today's video, I will be getting my wisdom teeth taken out. I will be getting four wisdom teeth taken out because I have four. We already got up and stuff. I have this little headband on because I had to wash my face. I'm already dressed. I have this black shirt on. I have these pajamas on, these pajama pants, and that's what I'm gonna wear since they said to wear comfortable clothing. I'm up, you know, bright and early in the morning. I never get up this early. I don't miss high school because it's how early I have to get up and I'm, no, I'm fed up, I'm done, I'm glad it's over, we're done. <laughs> I think I have to take two pills before I leave. I think one of them is like a medication to help with the pain, I think, I don't know, but I have to take two pills before I leave or an hour before my actual appointment. Yeah, we're about to go ahead and go. I'm not gonna wear this headband, I'm gonna take my hair down, but um, I just wanted to kind of start the video. And last night I didn't even sleep because I was just kind of nervous because I just don't know how it's gonna be. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm under the medication. Usually this is a mess. This is like I sleep wild. It's just the covers are like that. It's just crazy. But like this is like my bed still looks made kind of, <laughs> and that's not normal. So um, yeah, I was kind of sleeping with one eye open and one eye closed. But you know, I'll be sleep all day today, so it's okay. So I wanted to go ahead and bring y'all along with me on this journey of me getting my teeth cut and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna hope that my family gets some footage of me when I'm um, done getting them out. My camera is fully charged, so hopefully they get footage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it with me so y'all can kind of come along. Stay tuned for more and let's just hope that this day goes well. You're fine, baby. Oh, baby. That's all right, sweetheart. You're okay. You did it. It's over. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let me take this off. I'm gonna I'm gonna change your gauze out here in a little bit, okay? Okay, mom, do you have any questions over anything I went over with you guys? No. It's what? It's cold. Okay, you like you know we're gonna, we're gonna get you some blankets, good. Right across your chest like that, okay? Keep it right there for me. I'll be right back. Hi, guys! So, so don't do that. I hope you don't fight it. Okay, I'm gonna put the blanket on you now. Keep it up. Put your arm back up here. Put your arm. Yeah, no, put your arm back up here, too. You did good, sweetheart. You did good. Let's do that one more time and try not to move your arm, okay? Okay. guys a call later on tonight just to check on her okay so if you have any questions go ahead. you can ask him at that time um that brown piece of paper that you guys have make sure you read over that if you have any questions a lot of times that brown piece of paper will answer the questions for you um let's see what else 
you you have no questions over anything I went over with you guys. Okay. Okay, you ready to go home? Let's go. You want to go home? Yeah. On May 11th, I've, I've been to Parisians. It wasn't even worth it before. I look fat. Back with the Lakeith's family, it's dinner. Oh, that's well. They're eating out in the garden, a luxury they didn't have in oh, Paris. Wonderful. And they just visited a house they wouldn't be interested in buying. Seventy-three thousand dollars. They'd be lucky to get a one-room apartment for that in Paris. In Correa's France, I'm John Morrison for Marketplace. And in New York. Is this a good deal? Is this a stop? <laughs> <laughs> is this a right deal on, for Europe right now? Would you fall away? EU more united? Put that thing away and they'll be broadcasting we'll it. German no and an Italian politician. <laughs> TV right now in my covers because I'm really cold so I'm back home now and I don't really feel any pain but I feel like the medicine wore off because like I just can't talk because like stuff but I feel like I definitely feel like the medicine like wore off I don't know how but it wore off because I got the appointment it's like at 7 30 and then my I'm now I'm back home and it's 9 9 can y'all see that 9 40 so I'm just gonna chill in my little blanket and then I'm gonna watch The Flash on Netflix. Cause it kinda hurts low key when I bite. But yeah, I feel a lot better. Um, I just, when I walk, I stumble a little bit. Like I feel a little bit like I'm gonna fall down. So I have to like walk slowly. I can't really walk my normal pace. So yeah, but it kinda hurts when I bite down a little bit, but it's not bad. I have blood everywhere. It's nasty. But um this is just the gauze and it's 
ice on it so it kind of keeps your um oh i guess the swelling goes down the swelling is supposed to go down whenever you're like elevated so that's why i have my pillows up so that i'm kind of just elevated and not laying straight down hey guys so this video is kind of a fail my hair looks crazy i'm gonna fix this i don't know why it's coming out It's probably gonna come out again because I have like shorter pieces in my in the front of my head. But right now, this is like not even cold anymore. I had ice in it, but now it's just kind of normal. Um, my cheeks are still pretty swollen. And I was I took a nap when I got home. Well, let me just tell you what happened. So basically, I kind of was aware of my surroundings, but I wasn't. It's like when I first woke up, the lady asked me, hey, she was like, hi, are you ready to go? And I was like, where's my teeth i want to hold my teeth and i remember saying that i don't know i couldn't control it it's just like that's something that i said was where's my teeth i wanted to hold them and she was like they're in the blah 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 my mind i just it faded away i didn't hear what she said so i've just been at home watching tv on my phone watching netflix on my laptop for lunch i had uh tomato soup and jello and then i had like this mango dr cranberry drink so yeah i can't eat anything hard for like 24 hours and then i have to keep on changing the gauze every 30 minutes so that i don't bleed and stuff like that and then apparently i have to wear this on my face for a long time so so i just took my gauze out and now i'm eating a little bit of some ice cream some cookies and cream and after that i'm gonna put the gauze back in i didn't see a lot of blood when i just took it out so Hopefully my mom lets me like stop doing it or stop putting it in because it's just it's annoying to just Have something constantly in your mouth and you're just like tasting it and it just makes you want to like gag and throw up because it's like ew What is that? But I'm just about to chill and eat some ice cream. I had um Chocolate pudding and I also had a vanilla pudding over there just now. So I'm eating way too much. Hey everyone So my hair is a mess. Don't mind it. It's just it's just because I have my um this like gauze, not gauze, whatever this thing is. I think it is, yeah, the gauze. What is this? Do you know? I don't know. Um, so when I have this on, it's like every time I put my hair behind it, it like my hair slips out all the time. So it's just like I have my little bangs going on right now. But I just came back up here. I'm not really allowed to be in my room right now because my parents want to watch me or I don't know. I just ordered some ice cream from Cold Stone and I went on DoorDash. I'm excited. We have ice cream, but it's not like the exact kind that I want. The fact that I um got my wisdom teeth out today, I feel like I deserve to like have what I want. You know what I mean? I feel like it's been a really tough day for me not not being able to eat the foods I want to eat and have what I really want to have. I've had to have this thing on all day. I haven't had a, I haven't had a chance to take it off. I can't take it off for a few days. So it's just been really rough. So I'm really excited to get this ice cream. I got the half well, I don't know if they're going to do it right, but I told them to do regular cake batter and then the rest of it, chocolate cake batter. So half and half. So we'll see. They might not even check what I want. They might just do a oh, regular cake batter and that's it. Um, but I didn't get any toppings because of the fact that I can't really chew right now. I did end up eating like some soup, like that little alphabet soup thing where it's like the tomato. You know what I mean? That's what I had. And then I just had um, a drink and then I took my medication again because you have to take your medication like every few hours. So I did eat. I'm not just ordering ice cream to just order it. This is my dessert for the night because I know that this is kind of all I can really eat for the rest of the night and probably for tomorrow as well. So kind of sucks, but I'm looking forward to like next week when I can really get back into eating. Thank you. It's okay. and I'm eating well I'm not eating yet I'm letting my oatmeal cool down and then I have my bananas that I'm gonna mush mush that I'm gonna um yeah yeah basically mush them up and then put them in my oatmeal because this is actually cinnamon oatmeal it looks kind of gross right now but I promise you it's like it's gonna be good it just looks kind of mushy and stuff not mushy it looks kind of watery because of the milk but I promise y'all like oatmeal is gonna thicken up so 
yeah i'm gonna enjoy that whenever the oatmeal kind of fixes itself and then i'm gonna put the bananas in there and i'm gonna enjoy my meal um and that's my that's my breakfast for today um i have this thing on my face i had this on all last night because i do feel like my face um uh, is swollen so my parents they told me to put this on all night so it was kind of hard to sleep i kind of slept like this but it was i had to because i have to you have to elevate your um your head you can't be flat down or you're gonna get more swollen okay this is like bothering me so i'm a medicine here and you actually have to take it with milk so before you eat I don't drink milk by itself without cereal or if I have like cookies or brownies so this is really kind of nasty to me but we're gonna do it okay so you have to eat right after or you're gonna get nauseous so I'm about to go ahead and eat Okay, so I was just sitting down and like I was eating like my bananas and stuff because I didn't eat all my oatmeal but I was eating my bananas and I felt like these strings in the back of my mouth and I'm wondering if it's just like skin like what is that so I'm over here playing with it with my tongue like moving it and stuff so I just look it up because I always if I'm sick if I'm feeling weird or I'm feeling something weird I'll look up the symptoms and be like what is this so it says this s-u-t-u-r-e-s i don't know how to pronounce it appear as small yellowish white knotted string near the areas where the teeth were removed although you may fill them with your tongue it is best to leave them alone the sutures are self-dissolving and will come loose and fall out the time varies from person to person so basically it's where they took the tooth out that you're gonna feel like these strings or something i don't know so i'm gonna just leave it alone because i don't want anything to happen to me i don't want any blood to come spooling out if i like Pull it out with my finger because I was literally like, putting my hand in my mouth playing with it. So right now, this is my lunch. I'm eating spaghetti. This is this was the dinner that they had. My family had yesterday, so they warmed it up for me. But except there's no meat in it. It's just strictly the noodles and the sauce. It's also one o'clock right now, 1:47. So I just took my second dose of my meds. I have the two pills I showed y'all earlier, so that's why I had to eat so I could go ahead and take my medicine as well. So this is the lunch. Um, that's pretty much the end of my wisdom teeth video. I still have to go through the recovery, the recovery process tomorrow because I have to spray this water, this salt water in my mouth. Um, but I need to get this video up. So that's why I don't know if I'm going to be able to like film that for y'all. So if I don't get into filming that, then I want to just say thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Turn on your post notifications for my channel so you get notified every time that I upload a video. I post Tuesdays and Thursdays. So stay tuned for more. Um, I'm still recovering. I'm going to just chill today, relax. I'm going to watch Netflix and I'm going to lay down because I'm lazy. And this medicine kind of makes me a little sleepy sometimes. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating my food, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. I should be 100% back and better next time. Alright, so I'll see y'all next time. Bye!